hello. Here we are with the first inaugural episode of the podcast, Hospitable. Hospitable is a podcast for the hospitality space where we seek to explore what the customer experience is like from technology to front lines of hospitality. I am your host, Rob Napoli, the head of brand and marketing at Omniboost, and I am joined today from, with, I should say, the founder and CEO of Omniboost, Case Zorha, and our wonderful COO, Mike Baki. Did that's, I say it right? That's close enough. Barker. Baka. You know, I, for three years, I've said this wrong, and it's going to take me another three to get it right. And whilst we're playing the game, it's Zorha. Yeah. Typical Dutch. Zorha. 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 Nice dry rub. Right, there we go. So welcome to Hospitable. And what we wanted to do today is introduce the voices uh, and the faces, whether you're listening to this on audio or watching this um, on YouTube. So you get a little bit of understanding of who we are and why we're here today and what we want to accomplish with this podcast. So I think it's really important. Um, the podcast Hospitable is powered by Omniboost, which we all work for. So I think it's important to give a quick overview of what Omniboost is. Case, what is Omniboost? What is Omniboost? Omniboost is a SaaS middleware platform uh, which is taking care of financial data aggregation and unification for the hospitality vertical. It's short, but what we bring, we save time for our customers. And simply put, we're uh, a power split for hotels and restaurants. A data power split, data power by, split. Uh, by the way. <laughs> so what made you, as the founder, where this come from? Oh, well, told you over and over again. And I'd like to state something that we had a grand vision uh, about the hospitality vertical. Truth be told, we got lucky. <laughs> so the original idea was actually thought of for uh, the e-commerce industry. Didn't get that much traction. So I was like, hmm, from a founder perspective, cool. That one is going down the bin. Or I think that's properly phrased. Uh, we got a shot for an hospitality integration, uh, which supposedly was to last for two months. We were done within two freaking days. People told us, can't be true. And we were like, most likely it can't. <laughs> Apparently it could, or it was possible. So some things are too good to be true. Some things definitely are, but you need to force luck as well, Rob, come on. So um, long story short, uh, a week later I was on a plane, signed my first deal, and here we are, 17, 70 countries further, 3,000 active integrations, and growing month over month. It's amazing. It's been a really cool journey. You know, we, the three of us met in the height of COVID, right? You guys were uh, scheduled to come to New York City for a program called Benelux Catalyst, which actually where we are today, we're on location in New York City. So this podcast has been in the, <laughs> trying to get scheduled for a while now, but uh, our schedule just didn't align. We were in the same countries at the same time. Um, it's been kind of crazy. So here we are in New York City. We're at the Belcham office, Belgian American Chamber of Commerce. and 2020, you're supposed to come through this program. And um, we met uh, as a, I was a sales coach for, for the program. Uh, Mikey, what was your initial reaction when you met me virtually um, three years ago? At first thought, I thought, whoa, <laughs> 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 who is this character? <laughs> you were wearing tank top guy. a tank top, looked like you just got out of the gym with the man bun up. I thought, whoa. Yeah, uh, it's pretty common attire for me, uh, especially during the pandemic. Uh, you know, three years ago, Case, you mentioned uh, in that, uh, that, you know, that you wanted to meet afterwards and you scheduled a meeting right after me. After what? When you look at three years ago, what were, what were the goals? What were, what were you trying to accomplish? Why did you choose that program at that time um, to, to really help scale? Yeah, okay. we knew for a fact that what the things that we were doing in Europe would actually be a 10x in the States. Uh, we also were quite aware that we uh, did not understand how to approach the US. So hence this program, uh, the Benelux Catalyst, also the RISE program, uh, which Mikey and I attended. What we love dealing with Americans is actually getting some tough love, which is actually valuable feedback. 
And that's the way we like to do business as well. And sorry for the language, but actually take the non-bullshit approach and just do the freaking work. So that was something that I highly valued. And the same, my gut feeling was like, since Omniboost is a non-traditional company, we like to stir things up a bit. I was like, I dig the tank top guy. <laughs> I mean, looking back on it, showing up to do a workshop at a tank top, uh, Worked obviously three years later because here we are as as the the head of brand. But I mean, (laughs) still wonder what I was thinking on that day. But you know, um, (laughs) I love it, and and here we are. And you know, what's really interesting is this podcast is called Hospitable. Mikey, what does hospitable mean to you? Well, many things. Um, It's catering towards other people's needs and not thinking about your own needs first. Okay, so what about you? can uh, definitely agree with that and also the way how we uh, approach our business ourselves is having a willingness to serve so being willing to to take the extra step to understand what the needs actually are not just doing the things that you're being asked to do in my opinion that's definitely part of being really hospitable yeah i love that and i think the big thing and we thought when we talked about this podcast i remember uh you know, we've had a lot of conversations about what we want to name the podcast, what we wanted it to be. And I remember I was talking, I was at um, brunch with my wife and one of her friends. And I was like the hospitality tech podcast, hospitality today. I was like all these different words I was using hospitality because the podcast is for the hospitality space, the space that we serve, right? True. As Omniboost. And I remember my wife looking, her friend had said something about something like the hospitable or something. And my wife just goes, hospitable period. And I was like, Oh, I like that. The idea behind hospitable is we want to explore the themes of what hospitality means today. And hospitality is yes, infused like everything else with tech, but it's still about people. It's people serving people. True. And I think that the name Hospi- hospitable and what we want to accomplish is highlighting really cool tech that's in the market today, mm-hmm. how that tech affects the customer experience. I know we already have, you know, interviews scheduled with CEOs of tech companies. We've got um, investors in the prop tech space. We have uh, restaurateurs coming on. We have um, architects and designers on deck to come on the show and talk about the customer experience from all these different angles. And that's really cool. So as we as we go into this podcast, in case I'll ask you first, what um, what excites you most about this new journey we're venturing into with the podcast and, and what we may accomplish with it? Sharing new ideas from captains of industry, leading companies from multiple angles. So it's actually the non-commercial part I actually like. So it's once again, having the willingness to serve, share the ideas and move the industry forward at a very fast pace. Yeah, I think that's really exciting to be on the cutting edge of the types of conversations that we're going to be involved in yeah, and true. what we're going to learn about. And hearing from yeah, other areas within the industry and, and hearing about their perspective on the issues. Yeah. And I think that's really interesting you bring that up because uh, for those that don't know, Mikey came, comes from hospitality. Your whole career has kind of been the hospitality space, but yep. for working former in the airline space, what um, kind of, having lived in and breathed the hospitality space and you've lived in some really cool places from South Africa to Abu Dhabi to, um, you know, Ghent, um, traveling all over the world. What drew you to the hospitality tech? What drew you into this world of the tech side of the business versus the people side? Um, tech side was actually just by chance. Actually, I met case during the COVID period. Um, yeah. So I, as you mentioned, I have a background, in hospitality and different assets, working in hotels, resorts, airlines, and met Case and was first time of actually being on this side of the fence of technology and realizing what solution we have that actually fixes a lot of problems that the hospitality tech or hospitality industry uh, faces. And what we solve is giving people time back so they can face or focus on actually being focused on their guest needs. Their primary objective is being hospital. So yeah, that was by chance, was never really a choice. I definitely remember that first interview that we had together. I was like, yeah, 
come on, guy from ATL Airways. Well, <laughs> phew, uh, let's spend like 30 minutes, have a conversation. We'll see. And then, yeah, we, we really, it really took off the conversation as in immediately. So it was, it was a no brainer to go for a hire. Yeah. Basically on the spot. Instantly saw the enormous potential. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's been amazing because, you know, I, I started consulting and advising the company the same time you started right around. So I've seen the two of you develop this uh, really cool relationship. I've seen where the company has grown and it's obviously what excited the hell out of me to join the company. Right. I mean, for those out there that don't know, I, I, I don't, I, I, I joke when I say this, but it's true. After our, our first conversation case, case looks at me and goes, Rob, I'm going to hire you one day. And I was like, yeah, yeah. You know, I worked in a lot of accelerators. I worked with a lot of founders and I was like, yeah, they all say that. Hell, here we are three years later, <laughs> three years later, and we're in New York City recording our first podcast episode for something that to me um, is really exciting. Like this is my baby for the company, right? Rob, if I say something, I mean business. <laughs> that, it can that. take some time, <laughs> but we'll get that, there. I know it's true. And, you know, we're really excited about this podcast. And for those out there listening, we're really hoping to bring a really diverse perspective of what it means to be in this space. As Mikey said, and, and, and why, you know, we're going to have different episodes where it's just me hosting or it's Case and I, it's Mikey and I, it might be Mikey and Case. Uh, but sometimes you're going to get the three of us chopping it up because these two fellas have some stories from hotels, from airways, traveling. These guys have been all over the world traveling. I tell you what, we'll do an episode just focused on some of our worst travel fails. I look forward to that one. <laughs> well, Mike, I think I'll let you lead that story. <laughs> I was saying, I think uh, Mr. Mikey's got uh, quite a few uh, stories, and I think it's going to be really fun um, to share those. And I think a lot of people out there have, have gone through some of those same experiences. And, you know, when it comes to hospitality space, we think of first and foremost customer service. What does it? mean to be taken care of, whether you're um, traveling for work, um, for pleasure, uh, if you're, you know, it's just a quick stop on the way to something else. There's an expectation of, of a service level that you're going to get. And technology plays a big piece of that in today's world. And we want to explore what the customer experience means from all levels. And so you're going to hear from amazing people in the space and, and these different levels. So if there's things that you want to hear, there's certain topics or, um, you know, areas you want us to explore. Let us know. Reach out to us at Omniboost. We would love to uh, get that feedback and take things to the next level because this podcast is going to be a lot of fun. We've uh, we have trips planned to, to Norway. We've got things happening across the world um, that we're going to be recording episodes. Some are going to be virtual. Many of them will be live on location in really cool places across the world. So we're excited to take this on the road. Excited to take this global and really show and share the differences of hospitality at different levels while also bringing in um, a little bit of our own personality, a little bit of fun, uh, a lot of laughs, probably, uh, maybe even a few beers from time to time. Uh, Good idea. <laughs> yeah, I'm up for that. Yes. Won't say no to that. We've got a reputation anyway, so, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's actually like the idea for the audience to come up with new ideas and topics. So that would be kind of cool. Yeah, well, uh, let us know, the, you know, in the comment section. Um, my email, rob at omniboost.io, let us know, you know, hit me up. Um, we're, we're here for it. We've got an amazing roster of people and, and we're, we're on the hunt for new, um, cool guests, uh, on the show as well. So topics and guests, uh, are definitely welcome. And we want to make this interactive. This is a show for space. It's not a show for us, right? This is a show for what does it mean to be hospitable across the world? What does the hospitality industry need? Where is it exceeding? Where is it failing? And what is the role of tech plays in that? Because tech can be scary uh, in how it can help or potentially hurt that experience. So we're going to discover and uncover all of that um, in this podcast. And uh, it's going to be fun. Yeah. And actually, it's like what we do. You know, we'll take care of the tech part of things, the integration part of things and unification so that you can actually focus on what's most important, your guests. You know, Mikey, you brought this up and I, and I love when you, when you share this because it's so crucial to we are that we give time back to people, right? And it's not just giving time back for time's sake. I think that's a really big thing that a lot of people are like, oh, we help you save time. We don't save time. We give you time back so that humans can be more creative solving real fucking problems. Exactly. And that is 
one of the coolest things about this company and what we aim to do is what we aim to do with this podcast, right? And highlight those things. So I hope you're excited. I know we are excited and um, you're going to be seeing a lot of all of us. Uh, we're going to have some great stories. I cannot wait to, to, to hear some of these travel stories from Mike. Well, I should say, I can't wait for y'all to hear some of these amazing travel stories. Oh, we've got some <laughs> nice stories to share from you as well, Rob. So <laughs> well, stay well, tuned. Yeah, stay tuned. I, I'm, I'm slowly growing a rep rep reputation at this company for making small but seemingly big mistakes uh, in our travel plans. <laughs> <laughs> and what's funny is my wife's going to be like, I told you so, because she, she, she's experienced that as well. All right. Uh, for, for this opportunity, I'm excited to be on this journey with you, both professionally but personally with this podcast. Uh, I hope you all listening are going to enjoy it. Uh, and you're going to get to know Case, Mikey, and myself really well uh, over the coming uh, months and years as we run this podcast and, and, and learn. So, Case and Mikey, I want to say thank you to you both and really excited to, to be doing this journey together. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah, really look forward cool. to it. Yeah. yeah. And like, comment, and subscribe, right? Absolutely. As I was going to say, follow us. If you want to know more about what Omniboost does, omniboost.io. Um, uh, we'll have the uh, podcast page and all that coming live. It'll be all in the show notes. Make sure you follow us. Make sure you like, subscribe on YouTube, subscribe wherever you get your podcasts. Be a tier one. This is going to be nothing without you. Be a tier one. Get involved early uh, and often. We appreciate you and uh, stay tuned. Hospitable coming at you. Cool. Nice.